And on to our second story, the Rajasthan leadership war within Congress. Has the duel between CM Ashok Gehlot and his former deputy Sachin Pilot finally ended? Have both camps put their swords down to retain power in Rajasthan for the Congress? Well, Chief Minister Gehlot would certainly like you to believe so. Ashok Gehlot put out this cryptic tweet along with a photo showing him in a meeting with Sachin Pilot. The post captioned, Ek saath jeet rahe hai fir se. Together, winning again. Remember, Gehlot and Pilot have been at loggerheads since Congress won Rajasthan in 2018. Sachin Pilot went after the chief ministerial post back then but finally conceded way to Ashok Gehlot. But over the years, there have been multiple friction points. In 2020, Sachin Pilot led an open rebellion along with 18 other Congress MLAs against Gehlot. In 2022, it was the turn of Gehlot loyalists who resigned en masse to thwart a bid to appoint Sachin Pilot as the party chief in Congress and consequently uh, the state CM. Even earlier this year, we saw Sachin Pilot staging a one-day token hunger strike against his own government, alleging that Gehlot was soft on corruption cases in the BJP era. So given this history, how are we to interpret the image ahead of this particular image ahead of the crucial Rajasthan elections? Joining me to discuss this further is my colleague Harsha Kumari Singh and senior journalist Avinash Kalla. Uh, thank you both for joining me on this. First, coming to you, Harsha. Uh, you know, we've seen both Sachin Pilot and Ashok Gehlot recently in their interviews. Uh, all the time, in fact, reiterating this phrase that it's time to forgive and forget. Now, this image seems to be a visual representation of that. As someone who's covering the elections closely in the state, does this seem like a photo op or a real patch up? I think it's a political necessity, really, because, you know, if you look at Ashok Gehlot and Sachin Pilot and the Congress party in this election, the high command is backing both the leaders. They realize that they are fighting this election with Ashok Gehlot as the face and on the and they're betting on his social welfare schemes to bring them back to power. But at the same time, they can't afford to ignore Sachin Pilot. He's the leader of the future. He's going to bring in those 22 lakh plus youth vote. Remember, that's just first time voters. Otherwise, it's about 12 percent. Then also the Gujar vote. Remember last time the BJP gave uh, tickets to nine Gujars and none of them won. In fact, the Gujar vote shifted en masse to the Congress. The Congress needs that because, you know, last time around the margin of victory was very, very small, 0.53%. So this election could go anyway. This is definitely political necessity. And as they say, politics makes the strangest bedfellows. Right. Stay with us, Harsha. I'm going over to Avinash now. Now, Avinash, as Harsha was putting this into perspective, that this is a political necessity for the Congress ahead of the elections. But is this photo op, so to speak, this patch up strategy in front of the public for public display a little too late? Or was there a strategy in the first place? Maybe they were using this to distract the opposition in the state. Like, how do you think that the Congress has actually handled this entire faction feud, so to speak? Well, uh, it's a very simple uh, thing to understand. Like Harsha said, it's a necessity. And the necessity hasn't been met yet. What we have seen is just a photo op and nothing beyond it. Look at it that today the Congress's uh, guarantee yatra was in Ajmer. And Sachin Pilot is the in charge for that area. But such has been Congress's management inside that today Sachin Pilot was in Madhya Pradesh because he had a uh, previous uh, rally that was scheduled. So in his own turf, where he was supposed to be, you don't see him present. So today, if everything was good, he and Ashok Gello should have been together. The Congress party should have planned it in such a way. So I think uh, it's a little too late for them to show that they are all together. It is just merely a photo op. The crowds were um, not the kind of crowd that you would have had had Sachin Pilot been there. It was not a massive show of strength. And, and this was just a photo op. And it is not just this photo op. If you look at the posters, just a day before, uh, we saw Sachin Pilot for the first time on posters in a prominent picture next to Ashok Gehlot. And then it was followed by Malikarjun Khadge, Rahul Gandhi, and so on and so forth. So maybe Congress is also sensing that going solo with Mr. Gehlot is probably not the best strategy. They will have to give some space to other Shatraps or other leaders. So you are now seeing Mr. Uh, Pilot or Mr. C.P. Joshi or Rahul Gandhi on the posters in prominence. And then one more thing, these two leaders, whenever like you've shown another photo of them together with Mr. Khadge, 
you have mr uh, kc venugopal the right. shanti doot from the ala kaman as long as mr venugopal is there the pictures are together i'm yet to see a picture when nobody from the ala kaman is there and these two leaders come together that hasn't happened yet and maybe right. in the eight days something might come up right uh Yes, uh, that is actually something an interesting point to note. That uh, coming back to you, Harsha, Congress. In fact, we've seen if we actually talk about the real faction war that has been going on over the past several years, ever since 2018, at least on a public level that we can see, and go beyond this particular photo, uh, Congress has in fact managed to make it work despite the faction war. Let's say in Karnataka, what have been according to you some of the back channel attempts that you have seen which has been made by the congress high command recently to douse the fire between gelot and pilot ahead of this crucial elections well you know i think the congress uh, it's very much part of the congress dna to have factionalism so they know how to make it work but no on a more serious note i think they actually took it quite seriously you know when when sachin actually uh, you know went away to uh, haryana and that's when they actually the high command actually got into action we know that there were several rounds of conversations and had priyanka gandhi not intervened you know um, this this issue would probably not have been sorted out and of course um, you know the fact that he came in the, the the cabinet was expanded in december that year all his people all his people got a ministerial post so it's not like the congress doesn't accommodate the people who you know uh, uh sort of want to fly away or maybe ambitious there's definitely been conversation he has been promised something that's why he's definitely there at the same time if you look at the ticket distribution i mean ashok gelot managed to get shanti dhariwal that very very crucial ticket so it's not like the cm they can't do without ashok gelot either so i think the the congress in that sense um is a, is more accommodative and you know uh, rahul gandhi has said that he said you know we have our differences but we know how to work together so uh, definitely uh, you know even for the bharat jodo yatra which was passing through eastern rajasthan uh, several attempts were made mr venu gopal um, uh, you know mr randhawa was told very very clearly that he has to have these people on board the the party in charges kazi nizamuddin virendra singh amrita dhawan you know they all made it a point to reach out and make that extra effort with both leaders especially with mr pilot when this year he said that he's going to launch that yatra so you know there was this talk of a yatra that he was going to launch against the corruption of the vasundhara government and then finally of course there was backroom uh, discussions back channel diplomacy and that's why mr pilot is today you can see in that picture he's sitting across the table and talking to mr gehlot right harsha uh, yes and as you said that congress has in fact despite all the hiccups on the way they have actually sometimes made factionalism work for them but uh, coming back to you avinash do you think that congress's main leadership has handled this entire situation well i mean this has actually been out in the open for so many years now ever since the last election it seems to be coming back to a 360 degree uh, level once again where uh, the faction war is likely to play out once again they could have dealt with it or managed it in a better manner or is it the old guard versus the new guard uh, you know friction within the congress party itself which has not allowed the these mini faction wars in different states to calm down uh it's come a little too late but and it's not that the congress high command did not uh, want to settle the scores and make the uh, thing a little better in rajasthan they tried it all and last year on 25th september we saw the uh, ajay makan and kharge coming in and observers to pass the resolution but mr gallo defied it he managed it very successfully to defy the high command and stay in power and still rule it out but at that point in time the congress was in power only in chatisgarh and in rajasthan they couldn't do much about it so they had to uh, succumb to the uh, chief minister's demand so it is not that they did not uh, try to make truce they did try so they were unsuccessful and now that they do have uh, governments in karnataka and in himachal pradesh the high command got a little more uh, wind under its wing they could exert themselves and now the results you are seeing is in front of you so i think they did try to make a, a peace between these two guys but they could not be much more stern with the chief minister last year now this has come in a little too late the voters have i think more or less made up their mind and these are just photo ops and nothing right. more and you interestingly spoke about uh, karnataka let me tell you one thing karnataka at that point in time was something where 
you could promise something or you could show something else whereas in rajasthan they had way past that state and it was only in the last time that they could uh, just come up with a patch up kind of a solution so the truth is that mr gallo did not oppose sachin pilot's candidate sachin pilot did not oppose uh, mr gallo's candidate and the kind of list that we have got is more or less a replica of 2018 nothing much here all right harsha and avinash before i wrap up this discussion and let you go i want a quick short 10 second or 20 second response from both of you on given the circumstances today if congress comes to power once again in rajasthan do you think we are going to see the same kind of drama and leadership tussle like we did in 2018 given the circumstances and where we are standing today i know it's a speculative question but still i would want to hear a response from both of you harsha you first definitely i think definitely that you know that goes without saying didn't you hear those statements uh, you know uh, the party will decide the mlas yeah. will decide who becomes the chief minister well right <laughs> You said twenty seconds, so I'm not saying any more. <laughs> Thank you so much for <laughs> taking that seriously, Avinash. To you, what's Congress without drama? So <laughs> we will have drama. We will see all the manipulation, and I'll add to what Hansa said. Also, remember the PC where Ashok Gehlot said, "Kursi mujhe nahi chhodti." अगर अगली बार मौका मिला तो मैं फिर से आऊंगा यस आई नो अ लॉट कैन बी एक्चुअली इंटरप्रेटेड इन दैट स्टेटमेंट थैंक यू अविनाश एंड हर्षा थैंक यू टू बोथ ऑफ यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी